In the past, head transplantation used to be a product of imagination, described in science fiction scripts. Nevertheless, nowadays, things have changed and a new era seems to have risen. The American neuroscience startup BrainBridge has captured the public's imagination with its latest announcement. They revealed a new head transplant technique on their official website. Their website claims this groundbreaking device will usher in a new era in neuroscience, human engineering, and artificial intelligence. As we move into a reality where the impossible seems possible, we face questions that push the limits of medical science and spark deep ethical debates. Can we really transplant a head onto a different body? Will there come a day when changing our bodies is as easy as changing clothes? These questions not only challenge what we know, but also make us think about the future. The ideas from BrainBridge are really exciting. They propose a system where a person's head could be transferred to a donor's body. On their website, they also talk about other surgeries like face and scalp transplants that improve both function and appearance. They mention using tissues from younger donors to reduce the chance of rejection and improve the look of the transplant. They say that through meticulous innovation and collaboration with leading experts in generative AI, brain-computer interfaces and robotics, we strive to ensure seamless integration and high compatibility in all procedures. By leveraging autonomous surgical robots and advanced molecular imaging, we aim to enhance surgical precision, reduce recovery times, and minimize human error, thus fostering better outcomes for our patients, which is also shown in action in their computer-generated video. BrainBridge's website also talks about a BrainBridge headband with a brain-computer interface, or BCI, that lets patients communicate and control devices while they recover. Although BCIs show a lot of promise, current technology isn't advanced enough for the level of control BrainBridge claims. Doctors find the idea of attaching a person's head to a different body very hard to believe. It's because cutting the spinal cord's many nerves can make someone unable to move and might even cause death. So, connecting the head's nerves to the new body is a really big problem that hasn't been solved yet. The challenges of head transplantation aren't just about the surgery itself. There are also big ethical issues to think about. If all these things turned out to be true, what challenges would we have to overcome? There isn't a system in place to locate donor bodies for head transplants. Yet, the medical field has made progress with face transplants, successfully sourcing donor tissue for this highly specialized area. This suggests that as the scientific community grows more confident in the viability of head transplants, the challenges in finding suitable donors could eventually be overcome. The procedure requires intricate surgical expertise and a high level of coordination among a diverse team of specialists, including neurosurgeons and surgeons specializing in the neck, vascular system, chest, bones, and reconstructive surgery. The careful planning of the surgical approach is critical. Preserving the phrenic and recurrent laryngeal nerves, as well as the vagus nerves and cervical plexus, is a complex and meticulous task, yet it's essential for the patient's ability to breathe and speak naturally after surgery. The operation involves complex steps such as connecting blood vessels, the esophagus, and reattaching and securing the spinal cord, which add to the procedure's complexity. Post-surgery, patients may face complications like bleeding, infections, and leaks at the connection sites. Additionally, a significant area of study and debate is determining the precise location on the spinal cord, specifically 
the cervical myelomere, to be severed. Various methods are being explored to ensure continuous blood flow to both the recipient's head and the donor body, set against a backdrop of induced hypothermia until the blood vessels can be reconnected. The use of an extracorporeal circulation machine is a leading option. Techniques like autocerebral hypothermic perfusion are also being considered to achieve deep hypothermia. Trials are underway for sustained cross-circulation between the recipient and donor. The optimal level of hypothermia and the precise temperature required are still topics of active debate. A critical aspect of head transplantation is cooling the recipient's head to a low enough temperature to safely detach and reattach it to the donor body, a factor that has been carefully integrated into the proposed protocol. Time is another vital element. The protocol draws on insights from previous experiments and is thoughtfully crafted, showing promise for successful implementation. In their research, Lee et al. have assessed long-term immune rejection and the prevention of ischemic events during the head transfer process, developing a two-headed model for head transplantation studies. Post-operative care will involve close monitoring in the ICU with support for breathing and circulation. Ensuring the head and spine remain stable is crucial for the success of the spinal cord fusion. Starting intensive rehabilitation for paralysis as soon as feasible is important. Neurogenic shock, which affects the sympathetic and vagus nerves, is a significant concern. Complications such as paralytic ileus and bladder dysfunction may occur. The diaphragm's function might be impaired, potentially requiring prolonged ventilatory support. Following the initial recovery, a comprehensive rehabilitation program for spinal cord injuries should be initiated, preferably in a unit specializing in spinal trauma. The presence of a tracheotomy could complicate rehabilitation and impact the quality of life. Issues with vocal cord function may arise, influencing communication and self-esteem. Furthermore, central pain syndrome, due to the cutting of the spinothalamic tract, is a potential complication after surgery. BrainBridge's announcement has excited many people and started discussions about the future of medical science. It's still unclear if these bold claims will become real advancements or just remain a speculative vision as we explore new medical possibilities, ethical considerations and thorough scientific testing are crucial to make sure these advancements really benefit humanity.